I'm going to show you exactly how I set up Chaos Cloth Simulation in Unreal Engine 5, how I paint the cloth areas that should actually simulate, and then we'll tweak the Chaos Cloth config so you get clean, controlled, production-ready results, without your cloth exploding into another dimension. Select your mesh cloth create clothing asset from section. Unreal Engine will generate a new clothing data asset. Go to weight paint mode. Now paint the exact areas you want simulated. Pink means fully fixed, no movement, and white means fully simulated, loose, moving fabric. Make sure any area that touches bones, like waist or shoulders, stays pink. Otherwise the cloth will fight with your skeleton. Now we go into the Chaos Cloth config. I'll explain each setting the way you'll actually understand it as a developer. Density. Think of it as how heavy your cloth is. Higher density equals moves slower, feels heavy. Lower density means moves light and floaty. Since I am going for leather, the density should be higher. 